Good morning, everybody. How is it going? I am doing good. I'm doing good. I hope you guys are too. Back today, got some more fears to fathom happen. Some more fathomable, fathomable, blah, 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 fears are going on. Alright, let me slide this a little bit because it seems a little dark for you guys. I would say that's barely visible in the capture, that that first F. Done. Alright. Iron Bark Lookout. New game. So we're gonna do this one, and then we're gonna do um West Screen Pier, Walnut House, whatever it is. Um, whatever the fifth one is, and then we're gonna see how much time we got for the day and go from there. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom, Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, and I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. Oh, hey, Des, what's up? I'm tripping. Usually am. Usually am. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. I was a minor. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. Feeling is up. That's good. I'm glad to hear it. I said a few goodbyes and was off to the new location. It was about, two, about a two hour drive. Oh no, I am not qualified to drive an RB. This ain't bad though. Kayla Nelson, one message. Okay, um. Hold on, let me. Let me read these real quick. Um. So yeah, the, you'll probably see Billy at the gate to show him your ID. Past Roseburg yet? No, why? I'm gonna turn that off. I don't want to get DMCA'd for that. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind. Keep the memories at bay. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Felt like I was at home in the woods. Damn it, Kayla, I am driving a recreational vehicle. We got four to tons of fun barreling down the highway here and you're sending me text messages. Alright, here, I'm gonna... Hey, that... Oh, hey, that's Roseburg. Damn. Thing don't stop easy. Remember the just diner while passing Roseburg? They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them. You would really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Alright, I mean, yeah. Let's, um... Oh, actually. It's all the diner Kayla was talking about. Conveniently. Oh, don't hit a cart, don't hit a cart, don't hit a cart. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. A close one. 
but we pulled it off. All right, I'm gonna swing this bad bitch around. Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty decent place to park. If you don't have specific RV parking anyway, I feel like all things considered, this isn't too bad. Still plenty of room for somebody to swing around there. I got room to get out. Honestly, I'm pretty happy about that. That is 10 times better than I could manage in real life. Buddy, you, I could hear you eating from 30 feet away. It's disgusting. Yeah, chew with your mouth closed. Should have clipped that guy with my RV coming through here. Done the world a service. Anyway, let's get one of the, be the best burger in town. Which, I mean, doesn't seem like a high bar to hit, because it seems like the only restaurant in town. But, you know, hey, I welcome the 200... Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat and you like and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. Uh, let's just sit at the bar. Can I not sit at the bar? I okay, I guess I'll sit here. I'd like to sit at the bar more. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Uh, yes. What can I get for you today? Um... Cheeseburger with fries. Ah, our burger is the best in the West. You like anything to drink? Um, let me get a large Coke. Anything else? Um, that'll be all, thanks. Great, I will bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Ah, uh, nah, sounds good, appreciate it. The ceiling is up? I acknowledged that you said the ceiling was up. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Alright, I guess I'm going to go do that. Honestly, I get that though. I kind of do that too a lot. Order your food. So it's ready. Go use the bathroom. I really had to pee. I'm so glad they included actual peeing in this. Wash my hands. Dry my hands. Ah! Hit myself with the door. <coughs> Cough a little bit, you know. Hot food, drinks, mm-hmm. like how they got ketchup at the table, but no mustard. I, I want to see what, if I could, uh, see what's on the jukebox. Oh well, it's the life we lead. Let's play It's Not Unusual 40 times in a row. Consuming. Consuming. Figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Well, maybe get two of them and take one with you. So, you up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Consuming. Consuming. You're not even- you're gonna kill the whole drink while you're here, too? Damn. Like, I would take some of that with me. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Dude reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the arts of cuisine in the next lookout. Well, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a, send you in a bit? Yeah, I mean, yeah. 
Don't text and drive. Just check your total of six. It's only six dollars for that? Yeah, you get a 50% tip, lady. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah, no worries. That was fantastic. And only six dollars? Yeah, I would tip 50%. That's still less than ten dollars. For a burger, fries, and a drink. Hold on. There's the shadow of birds. Where are the birds? The sun's over there. Oh, you can't... Okay, there are birds. They're really small. Alright, well. I mean, technically, you don't have to tip. Here, you don't have to. Alright, I know I closed this door. Want some more entertainment? I always want... more entertainment. I'm a glutton for entertainment. Bathroom door was strangely... Somebody's in my fucking bathroom! Come out, you bitch! You're addicted? Addicted to what? This, again, you don't have to tip here. It's just socially frowned upon, if you don't. She apologized? Oh god. Tatter, no. Don't do it. Also, Deus, admittedly, we don't go out to eat a lot, so it wouldn't affect us too much. And even then, I feel like it balances out. Arma 1, I'm not surprised by that. It was a very solid game. There were some good entries this year. Somebody's in my fucking bathroom in this RV. The retro combat game was fun, but I'm really bad with beat em ups. You're thinking the cat game or uh, dedicated healer? The cat game was really good, but I don't think it fit the um, the constraint super well. Go past the trail at first. Oh, did I need to park there? Okay. The, the controls for the fighting game were kind of not great, in my opinion. Are you still in my bathroom, you bitch? Dedicated Healer was really good, but I think Karma had an edge because it was browser-based, so you didn't have to download anything. Oh, I was supposed to drive down here. Alright, well, we'll get my RV out after I, like, check in. Christ all fucking mighty, my guy. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. Yeah, no, I think it's a good idea to stick to judges if you're doing, like, a cash prize at the end. Hey, fair enough, man. It's your life. 
live it out loud. L-Y-L-O-L, as I like to say around here. May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new trans- I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hired in this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Close this door behind me here, Billy boy. You like fire breathing dragons? I mean, fair. Just, you know, you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. But as long as you know that. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at the fire tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Your wife is very predictable. Are you calling your wife a fire-breathing dragon? Let me open the trail gate for you. Thanks. I gotta go get my RV. You just walk through the door, alright? I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you in a minute, Billy. Quite the opposite. A uh, water-breathing... It's the opposite of a dragon. Dragons are lizards, essentially. Reptiles. It would be a, a mammal. Cozy says a bunny. We could go with that. You hear that creepy guy in my bathroom? We're li we're about to move. She's a water-breathing penguin or a bunny. Swing around. Uh, since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight. Uh, thank you, Billy. Be careful, take this. Take the flashlight. Thank you, Billy. That was... Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. Need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. I did not think that was going to happen. What would you be? I feel like some kind of squirrel. Maybe a maybe a possum. Drove my RV onto the foot trail. Oh, was I not? I was supposed to walk it. Okay. Am I stuck? Okay, we're moving. We're moving. I was definitely supposed to walk this, though. There we go, there we go. Might be, might be. Should have taken it easy. Alright, I was doing good earlier, now I'm gonna wreck this son of a bitch. What animal did... Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than a half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Got it. That is a weird question to ask during an interview. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Okay, so... Alright, bye guy in my bathroom. I guess I'm gonna leave all my lights on. You might have to do it manually. Maximo won't do it. Have you tried paying Maximo? They didn't want to hire you. <coughs> See, the correct answer is if you they ask you what animal. I left my bag in my RV at first. God damn it. They ask you what kind of animal you relate to. You're supposed to say, like, 
a penguin because they're dressed in suits and that means business and I'm all about business, baby. Okay, now I got my bag. Can I, like, turn off the lights? Is there a light switch, or...? No, whatever. Eagle, because you're picky with what you were consumed. Consume. An old guy tells you that after meeting you twice. That's really weird for the old guy to tell you, too. Hmm, young one, I met you twice now, and I'll tell you this. If you were an animal, you'd be an eagle. Because you're picky about what you consume. You're like, alright, Frank. Thanks for that. You'd be a platypus, because you're just weird, man. 11.32 p.m. It was a long hike, and I was starting to get cold now. Tower 11, Lacey Trail, 3.2 miles, Gold Creek Trail, that way, alright, well, we're going to the tower. Now my question for all you guys, what animal am I? Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time, it's not for everyone, but I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Somebody knocking? Ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. I heard a knocking noise. You're in the top of the tower, it's your job to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. King Prawn? Or King Parn? Okay, Prawn. The cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Forgot to turn the generator on. Of course I did. Ah, because of Pepe. I mean, I get that. <clears throat> of all the Muppets, I am definitely Pepe. Occasionally Gonzo. I have the fashion sense of Gonzo. You said squirrel because you used to chase them when you were a child? Okay, I gotta make a, I gotta make a report before I can go to bed. Oh no, I admit, I 100% have Gonzo's fashion sense. Flamboyant shirts. A nice jacket. What's the, what's the pass? I don't know what the password is. Radio equipment was sitting on the wooden table. Probably shouldn't throw that. That's a delicate piece of equipment, but. I had to report for tonight. Gonna call Adobe. Good luck. I believe in you. Tell them I said hello.
Up the other fire tower over there. Hey, buddy. Alright. Man, I hope you brought a book or something. Static. Forest Friend One Iron Bark Rules Flyer. All right. Lights out after 12, supply drops are handed out every Sundays, absolutely no guests in the lookout, system password. Ah, iron bark, number tower, okay. There we go. More Max M Mixamo? Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusted virtual assistant. Here to help you make the most of your computer today. Um, I just need to do a service report. Oh, the state of the art sir. Oh, uh, I'm Jack. Well, I'm glad Mixamo was here to make your animations better. Who is this? Fire Tower 12. Oh. Just met the job, but had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Uh, I was looking for a chance. A transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. you I'm really tired. No. Got it, thanks. Alright, I guess I'll do that real quick. Then I gotta do things like measure the wind speed. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? There was no firewood. Oh my god, alright. Um no, don't. That's fine. Connor was on the radio line. <laughs> no firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. All right, well, I guess I'm going down to the shack. Let's see, in my brief foray into modeling, I hated animating things. That was terrible. The modeling is fun. The animating, I, I hated. See, there's extras of everything down here, and I feel like I should just take it all upstairs now. I give it a bit, I might like it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. I can tell, that's just one of those things that I probably wouldn't like, even if I gave it a bit. That's just not who I am as a person. I'm gonna go get that extra stuff that's downstairs and bring it up. Call it a hunch. Maybe bring up a little extra firewood. Make a couple of trips.
You know, that's what I would do in this circumstance. I would make sure everything is in this cabin. So I don't have to leave. Hardly ever. We'll put the firewood in this corner. It seems like a good place for it. And then we'll put our extra... Uh, we'll put everything extra just right there. This is why I couldn't do this job. Not because of the isolation, but I would, like find zero reason to leave my tower and go like paranoid about going down to the ground. My hands are... No, they're not. You got one thing. Why could I take two... Oh, wait. Does the flashlight... Is like the flashlight an extra carry thing? All right. What if I do... All right, wow, game? No, 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 put those on the desk. All right, I'll probably need that stuff later, then I'll just leave it. I'm not gonna make 40 trips if I have to do one at a time. We're gonna take this wood up just in case. All right, where are my matches? Right there. But do I need to put gas on them? That's fine. I just poured some gasoline on the ground. That's probably bad. All right, well, you know what? Let's start a fire over these gas fumes. I'm gonna burn this. I need, okay. I'm gonna burn this damn cabin to the ground. I'm not a fire safety expert, but this seems not right to me. I was in the process of doing that when you radioed me. No, let me get to it. Yeah, maybe if somebody let me get to it instead of having me pour gasoline on the floor. Alright, what do we got here? 18 knots. Uh, wind speed, 18. What's the temperature? Is there a thermometer over here? I had to report for the... Yeah, I'm working on it. I don't see no thermometer. All right, um, we'll just make one up. It's currently I don't know, it's cold enough where I need to light a fire. 52 degrees outside. Number of hikers assisted, zero. The condition, I'd say it's cloudy. Reported by Jack. Something didn't look right. The weather. Did anything? Okay, um... Let's 
Seattle, are you over here doing things you're not supposed to? Did I just not see like a thermometer out there? Oh, hell yeah. I'm just going to do this the whole day. Oh god, oh god, bad place to be, bad place. Not good at this aim. Okay, there we go. What the hell? There we go. All right, is it like waves or? Some people be like that. Uh, out of curiosity, which game was it that they made? Oh, oh, pardon me. Wow, extensive tunnel network under this home. Wasn't that, like, the most humble person? Yeah, I remember that one. I, I stand by what I said. Well, I'm going to die here. Oh god, get out, get out! Fell through the map. This is lame. All right, let's go find. I don't remember the name of it. A float apartment. Yeah, that's it. Okay, you have a compass. How do I check the temperature? Yeah, one of the one of the ones that wasn't super great. This. And I try to be encouraging. Ah no, that's not what I wanted to do. I try to be encouraging with all my like my commentary on the game, even if it's not a great game. I try to give like some positive feedback to it. Oh well, some people do be like that. 
I do have to admit, I thought it was funny when I woke up this morning and saw a couple of replies to the video in the, um, a couple of replies to the video in the Discord where it's like, oh, I included instructions for the game on the Jam page or on the Itch.io page. I thought, I thought the judges would read that. Now I'm upset, and I'm upset I lost a few points because of that. Which, you know what? Fair point about me reading the page, but at the same time, if you buy a game off Steam and the controls for the game are listed on the Steam page but nowhere in the game, and it does not have a standardized control layout. Are you going to be okay with that? I sure as hell wouldn't be. There's a third flashlight in here. Osborne Firefinder. It's like a giant compass size of, size of pizza. Oh, oh, here's a thermometer. 44F. Wow. Not cloudy? Clear? Oh. You copy, new guy? Uh, right here. I'm, gonna sign off for the day. I'm actually just blind. I gonna talk to you tomorrow. Play one more round of plague. That wasn't a headshot. What the hitboxes on this are ridiculous. Hold on. We'll get there, hippie. We'll get there. Cheers. Alright, I guess it's time for me to hit the hay. Three twenty six AM. Yeah. Connor. Had to pee. The first night being in my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Okay, I have to pee. Does that mean I just like... Hold on. That's my damn flashlight. Hey, Icarus. Gotta keep the sock wet. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> you might you might have to do the scary thing and make your own animations. Oh, I can control where the P goes. I'm gonna write my name. M O R I ran out of P. Damn it, I wanted to spell Mort. I've actually never been able to sp spell my real name in P because it's very long. Well, it's not super long, but it's hard to have enough P to spell Dakota. I would be so well hydrated in order to spell that. Night two. Just you and the wind, and time just melts away. Take a photo. Play Postal 2 or 4 because I can pee for a while. 
Well, you know what? If I feel like playing a P game, I might. Get a close up of Connor here. Yes, Tor, as I just mentioned a moment ago, I don't like doing animations. New guy, do you copy? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Uh, let me put this down. Like how there's not a place option, I just chuck things. Oh, I've heard of Postal, yeah, I know it's an over the top. Um, copy that, Connor, what's up? Excuse me? Bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Um, alright. Well, let's see here. North is that way. Smoke was indicative of a campfire. Yep. No, don't get up. Sit back down. Yeah, I see it. Okay, heading north. You got it, buddy. You dressing up as the postal dude for Halloween? Oh, that's cool. Bear spray. Can I take this axe? Actually, hold on. Can I just take this axe instead? No? Alright, I guess I'll just take the bear spray. I would take both. Just in case. Like, what if these campers are crazy? Because bear spray won't do anything to a human. You can spray a human being directly in the eyeball with bear spray, and it will not affect them in the least. If you spray it on a bear, they explode. Ah, uh, Lacey Trail. Alright. Humans? Doesn't affect them at all. Caution in area. Well, I will be cautious in the area. Oh yeah, I got to read on how to use the axe. That's right. Follow the trail that led me to the smoke. Man, I should have brought a flashlight and a jacket. No cab camping. I heart Jin. She gives the best head. Oh. Damn, Kayla. Um, wow, you got home. It took you two days to get home. Pizza, pasta, bake, uncooked pasta, marinara, pepperoni, mozzarella, diced tomatoes. That doesn't sound bad. Oh, bad service. Okay. I take you should probably take that machete or something, my guy. All right, well here, let's put out the fire. I had to put it out. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do with my bear spray. All right, I guess I can't use bear spray to put out the fire. Or 
emergency closure, trail obstructed. Step out here. Show yourself. Alright, well, you know what? I put out the fire. That is my job. I'm leaving. It is dork as hell, and I don't like it. Dark as hell on that ghostly night. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. I thought the game crashed for a second. Pretty sure I turned the light off before I left. Add report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Yeah. And I would I would still lock this door. Hey, that landed perfectly. Wood I brought up didn't stay. Alright, oh damn. Connor, do you copy? Connor, do you copy? What are you talking about? It's unbelievable. Been happening a lot. Anything else you notice in those woods? There's a scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. That was a yeah, it was a tough, manly scream. Kids went missing there? What's that have to do with the campers? Hmm. That's unsettling. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. Goons are the worst. Keep me updated. Alright, well, let's get my report for the day. Eighteen knots. Hey, that's the casserole I had in the other game. Yep, can't send messages out. That's nice. All right, 18 knots, 46.9. 18, um, I think it's cloudy. Zero. Jack. Alright, submitted that for the night. Um, I guess I'd better go get some firewood. If I was thinking, I would have grabbed it on my way up.
needed gasoline. I put gasoline on it. Too hungry to go to bed without food. Alright, well, yeah, that's fair. Um, what sounds good? Um... Oh, check the ingredients list again. Alright, well, let me, let me put this away. Alright, we're just gonna waste a pound of hamburger meat. Uncooked pasta, marinara, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. All right. Um, marinara. Pasta. That looks like the pasta from Supermarket Sim. Um, diced tomatoes. Mozzarella. Feeling I was missing something. Oh, pepperoni. Alright, um... Last Tribe Media. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you most ride? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, yeah. This seems normal. Yeah. How does that work? Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? Sir, sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of sh Damn. Called testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, Wait, we have cursed Bob Ross with testicular green paint. Switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my own needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. It reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife, uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Send in my you got. Oh, there's actually a volume slider. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. All right. Save us, cats.mp4. This is saving us, but I like it better than Ron Ross. All right. 
Yeah, hold on, let me take this. I liked eating in bed. Well, hold on, answer the radio. Connor? Just reported their ass to the authorities. What'd they say? Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Good to know. Buddy, stop yawning because you're making me yawn. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, Connor. Alright, well, I got my report done for the day. I would close the shutters at night still. I was already full. Well, I should probably put this... I can't really put it in the fridge. Um, here, I'll put it over here. Could have kept it in the refrigerator. Alright, I guess. Oh, okay. Can I put the... Alright, whatever. Fuck the ground beef. Always close the boards outside before going to bed. I agree with that. Go back around to get that one, I guess. Two twenty seven AM. All right, it's been two nights in a row now, and I've been woken up in the middle of the night both times. Woken up by a feeling that caused my eyelids to open. There's something very strange about that night. Pick up this fucking axe right now. Oh god! <laughs> I did not expect him to charge me. I thought it was gonna say something like, oh, it was weird, I couldn't open the door. Or, I didn't feel like going out on the porch to check. I, di I really didn't expect it. I really didn't expect it to be like, Oh, you walked out. Okay, see, I told you, bear spray doesn't do anything to people. Alright. There's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. Alright, I want to see if, if I don't look at them.
Okay, so basically just don't let him know I'm here. Or don't let him know that I know that he knows I'm here. Hunter. Hunter, wake the fuck up. Didn't know what to make of it at the moment. I'd make that you need to leave. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Yeah. Connor, do you copy? I'll talk to you. It's urgent. You there? Any idea what time it is? Something outside my door. I don't think these are kids messing around. Feels like a real ritual. Man, I'd be sleeping with these door locks. These doors locked anyway. Gunner didn't make any sense. There's not much else I could have done in the dark. Oh, I could hide. Oh. Okay. Well, I gotta remember that. Why am I making a minimum amount of noise when I'm not even moving? I don't know. Go back to sleep. Night three. Nick say I woke up not being sure if it was last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason as harmless prank by some kids, but there's something that felt that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. I occupied most of my days by looking or scanning for the densest trees all around me. My paranoia for the woods only grew after last night, which helped me be extra vigilant moving forward. Did I mention that I saw a flare? That's, that's me. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Um, Jack oh, Tower 11. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay. I, What's going on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think, I think I'm lost. Um, what is your current location? I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Oh, you're in a forest park! And you just said you're in the middle of the woods surrounded by trees. Wow! That narrows it down. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. You remember any landmarks? I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing? Right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness, I see it. I'm see at what? Trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me check the map. Now. Okay, let's see. He's at an intersection. Past the stream. Is a stream different than a creek? Uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still both of these trails seem pretty similar? Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake. 
mistake it's going further away from the road Please. yeah i'm i'm actively looking at the map okay tower 11 he was north of me and now he's heading west Okay. Um. Wait, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I saw. I saw the flare out that way. That's north. Okay, that's Tower 11. He's north of me. This is north. Cross the creek. Heading west. They asked you to donate your win their winnings to the Hurricane Relief Fund. Well, that's very nice. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I think you need to take the left trail. <laughs> Uh, you're welcome. I'm right here. What do you I mean? I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. You, not you me. Who's there? Holy moly, what took you so long there? I've been knocking on the I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check on you. What's she what are you up to, pal? Uh I was assisting a lost hiker. This hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual usual essentials. Here you go. Feel like I'm going to pass out if I gotta be, keep holding this one more second. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate a campfire campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite distanced from help if anything happened. Got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. Is a job. Been hearing you've been a bit on edge. Everything all right? Uh, mention the skull. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh, hold that thought. Sorry, cat food was going off. I'm gonna wait a second because Cozy's using the microwave before I go make my my lunch. Take a photo. Of, take a photo of it before cleaning it up. I didn't think about it. You know it's this. We don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Go ahead and just shut these. Be getting scared without the cam is the shit is shit. Look, you guys have seen me scream enough.
me make my report. Twenty four knots. Damn, it's windy out today. Besides, I've really only been scared a couple of times. 58.6. Wow, it's kind of toasty out. Clear. What's the weather condition out there? Oh, windy. Yeah, I've only really gotten scared a couple of times. I'll go get some firewood while that. I was too hungry? Alright, well, damn. Okay, well, speaking of hungry, Cozy's done with the microwave. So, give me a second. I will be right back. I'm gonna go make some food myself, and when I get back, we'll keep on. Keep on.
Heyo, I'm back. All right, let me get my ears in, and we will play this again. No, this. That's why I make food, so I'm specifically not a starving artist. I'm not an artist anyway, but I'd like to at least not be starving. You did a thing? What did you do? Oh, you're talking to store? That makes more sense. Starving artists are usually a thing young artistic people do, or it's usually a thing young artistic people do where they forego a job to focus on their creative outlet of choice, which usually means they don't make a lot of money. Uh, thus the term starving because they can't afford food all the time. Yeah, no worries. When you ask an obvious question like that, I'll give you an obvious answer. Motherfucker, I had a mouthful of food. That's why I didn't scream. Be still, my poor heart. Just gave me a heart attack. I understand that loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silius. What are you doing here, Silius? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance over, over on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you. You usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. Must ensure, we must ensure that the right messages reach the right places. You agree? I agree, fire risks are very high this season. Absolutely. Some fires are meant to, be, to burn. No amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just among another form of cleansing. Wait for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead you to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Alright, bye, Silius. Try not to be so creepy. That guy gave me the creepiest vibes. Yeah, he really fucking did. Silas. Uh, well, good for you, Icarus. Screw that guy. Yeah, Cozy got the right idea. All right, everyone, we're going to go meet at Icarus's house. They're going to beat up her toxic ex. Tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? Give me a second, damn. You copy now. That's going to be the most random ass beatdown he's ever had. But also deserved. 
This is Jack. Ran into Silas, Silas downstairs. A guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? Just about yesterday. What do you mean? Yeah, no bats. We're gonna use chains. Heavy industrial chains. Cozy <laughs> says brass knuckles while holding a knife. Don't worry, this is all just taking place in Minecraft. Yeah, Co Cozy's just a little crazy. I'm from the streets. Okay. I'm from the streets. I've been to where your parents live. They're, it's A Street. The streets. <laughs> it's a nice street. <laughs> Still a street. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and who did I just talk to? You knew my name. I don't know. Disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. I'll t I'll tell him that next time I see him, Connor. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Apparently it was one of her parents who told her that trick with the knife. I got this. Not Connor. Signing off. Over and out. I'm, I'm gonna play a game of zombies to take my mind off of it. Actually, hold on. Can I, uh. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I don't want to get on her bad side either, but that's for different reasons. Oh, I didn't. Told you, what I do in your subconscious does not count. It's okay, she's not gonna drive to your house. She would make me drive to your house so she could beat you up. Yeah, I'm whipping every shot in the fucking triplets here. I would try to convince her to not to, but she doesn't listen to me a lot. Alright. Yeah, she says she doesn't like being told what to do. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So I signed off that night, told myself that was just a change of environments that I needed to get used to. The strangest I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. I mean, fair. Oh no, my wall of baby bowl wax is too fat to fit out of the jar now.
You got a game for her, Deus? Sure. Good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Cool. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Man, I hope this doesn't get rid of, get rid of my plague game. How do I update the computer? Amber Isle. Mm. I don't think the computers are going to take the jobs of foresters, my guy. I don't know how to tell you this, Connor, but I think you'll be safe. Um. Update. Help. Help. Oh. Uh, C-H-K-U-P-D. Um, package code. Can I, like, copy and paste that? All right. Four three four six zero eight four. Um, five four eight seven. Systems update. Power was out. Ow. Oh, balls. She's on the phone right now, Deus. I don't think she can check right this second. Where's my flashlight? Great. Gotta go out in the rain. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I just need to talk to Cozy for a second. Your generator would run out of gas while it's pouring rain. Why do I have to pee now?
All right, just pee. Yeah, I was reading the store's Discord drama while I was uh, making my food a minute ago. God, I did have to take a wicked whiz. Yeah, I understand the frustration of not all the judges voting on all the games. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there are no fires going, the only thing I do is check on Connor twice a day. Not even the only time I've I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Alright, yeah, I'm getting up. Right here. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me take a look. No, I get it. No, and I 100% agree with you. You can't make people vote for it. No, I agree. I think Karma is probably the best. I don't, dedicated healer, I feel like, fit the the constraint better. But they were both really, really good. If things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm going to get some rest. But yeah, like you said, you can't make people vote. Um, I didn't know what to make of it. The only thing that made sense was to take evidence of it? Oh, God. <gasps> oh, dumbass, you... They got here quick. Okay, I'm gonna cheat and mute my mic for a second because I hear the dog making some noise.
and safe to get out. Had to make a run? No, you need to tell Connor what's up. Okay, yes, I know shift to sprint. There's another one down here. Damn it. One week. Alright, yeah. No, no. Jack, you copy. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the I've been here but now I'm seeing see more appears to be in your you know, I don't see the update meet him. I didn't grab my uh, binoculars. Hold on, I wanna... Okay, I can't signal at them. Oh god. Obi. Okay, can I turn the flash off on my camera? <gasps> okay, I think when I get back downstairs after this, I want to see if I can radio. Yeah, no, I muted my mic. Okay, I think I can hide in the porta potty at the bottom. Nope. Okay, yes, I get it. I died. Could you reset so I can reset? Okay, yeah, so I need to get to the porta potty. Alright. One week later. Come on, let me do the thing. No, no.
I don't want not that. Okay, there we go. Call me. <gasps> Complete moron. I swear to God, Jack. Yeah, the door opened from the opposite side, I thought. All right, I'm gonna mute now. Okay, let me sprint. Damn it. I had the idea that maybe if I left before he got all the way around the corner, I could make it down the stairs without him seeing me. I'm going to legitimately give this one more attempt, though, because I know how it ends. I hide, I get away, and then I'm like, I never went back into the forest again. Well, it's a, that's good. It's supposed to creep you out. Um, the most unbelievable things about any of this is that this guy isn't armed. I can't imagine there's more than, like, five foresters in the entire U.S. Depart like forestry service that don't carry a pistol on them. There's also an axe by the fireplace over here, so maybe, I don't know, maybe grab that axe. Hide behind the door they come in, just bonk them on the back of the head. Like, really, this guy just has the survival instincts of a fucking turnip. And that's why he's having so many troubles. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. <gasps> Go Lizzie Borden on their asses, damn. Like, you have options. I don't know, I'll tell her to you real quick, this. Okay, now we're good. What? How did you already... What? 
All right. That I'm not doing this one anymore. It was cool up until the ending, and then it got very annoying. Because, like, just let me get away. So we're just going to move on to Woodbury Gateway. Poifect, poifect, poifect. Yeah, so the episode ends. Uh, if, if I did it, we escape. He makes it back to his RV. He's like, I gave my evidence to the forestry service, but they, they swept it under the rug. They never did anything about it. I've never been back in the woods since. Now I work as an accountant or something like that. All right, Woodbury Gateway. Approximate time, two hours. We'll see about that. I got an hour 12. I bet we can beat it. December 8th. Needed coffee to get done with the day. I don't need water. I feel like the uh, creators of this game can't animate water, so that's why all of it just goes to like a little black screen. Which I mean, fair. I've mentioned before, you know, I need to put a lid on. Alright, be a bitch about it. Need to use the restroom. Shouldn't you have done that before you made your coffee? Oh, I'm a lady. I was done with it. All right, where's the bat? The trash can at? I thought that was a noise bar. I was like, why do I care about how much noise I'm making in the bathroom? Oh my god. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry. Didn't know anyone was in here. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't knock before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone here this late. That's fine. You're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. I must have slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. That's really rude. Hey, I didn't throw mine on the floor. I threw it in the trash compartment of his cart. I want to state for the record. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. Just take my coffee cup with me no matter where I go. Go for Sydney Harper. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. 
Hey, Mike. You've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, no, I even cut out on a client <laughs> earlier. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, it's kind of overwhelming lately. Rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was gonna do it after work. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey, I was thinking since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Mike, just ask me out already. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sounds right. good. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. You now find something it's affordable. Like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. She really do it now. Right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, talk to you later, Harp. All right, let's make the the booking. Um, Hype Invader. Oh. Oh, all right, one of these. That was a long word. Process decide. That's not one word. Okay, uh, let's let's try that one more time. I also can't type. So this is extra hard for me. Like how? Oh, I'm gonna try to beat this game in like an hour. Plays the typing mini game. Process single leg. That okay. That's rentacabin.com. Where are you going? Mali Boo. Search. Well, that's not how you spell Mali Boo. Three fifty a night, two forty nine, one ninety nine, ninety nine, two fifty nine, one ninety nine. Oh. Book the cabin. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of some things, something that happened to me. Sorry if some of it's written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, trying to prove my worth. It didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but the expense of my mental peace. Sydney Harper. This story takes place during one of those days. 
One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to a rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We were in a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. I know, Paige is a good dude. He's been at a couple of my nighttime streams. Just book me playing the... okay. Oh, was that... Yeah, it's chilly. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. How do you know? i just seen you a few times getting off the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? Consulting firm downtown. Anyways, hope you have a great rest of your day. Need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You, you too. Didn't mean to hang up on Mike. I forgot my suitcase in the elevator. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh, you get... This mic. Harp. That's still how you hug people? Are you hu Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Just a test hug to see if you smelled first. Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Alright, laugh and then a long hug. Paige made the, the marble game, the marble shoot. It had a lot of lore. It's the one you said uh, you didn't get to see any of. It had a lot of lore, but not a lot of game. Look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Alright. Kobe. Alright, Hart, are you ready to hit the road? Where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would... Would have been a detour for her anyway. Alright then, Hart. Alright. Yeah, that's the one. Ooh. Yeah, no, I understand. Like, that's just an unfortunate circumstance, you know, when... When you can only do the one... Or when the game's really short like that, and there's not a lot to it, it's gotta be rated kinda... This is actually a gift from my co-worker, Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale and reminded him and me somehow. I can see the resemblance. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Oh, I, I just want to bobble the head, but all right. Yeah, it's just, you know, unfortunate there's not a lot of game. I can't, I got to rate it based on that. Everybody else does too. Our, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. Change is just hard. I'm trying to adjust to the new job. Seeking of jobs, how's the new job going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. Pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what. What do even consultants even do? Uh, explain. It sounds like important work. Um, it's near 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation. Harp, do you ever miss college? Why did I turn to look at that and not answer him? All right. See that school bus? See what? There's a school bus. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home or on wheels or something. Very people do that on the internet. Um, we're on our way. Should be there around 6. Snow slowed us down quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I had to pull away to look at that school bus and I couldn't answer his question. To answer your question, um, I personally never went to college, but in the context of the game, sometimes I miss college. Oh, snap. Came out of nowhere, you know? I on the internet that Native American lore, seeing a deer crossing your path is like getting a message from the universe. 
Well, shit, there have been some nights the universe sent me like 30, 40 messages. The universe is like, hey, I keep calling, but you don't pick up. And then sometimes the message runs into the side of my car at 20 miles an hour and dents it. Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know? Driving through snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? The way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. Yeah, I've thought that before. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Kind of beautiful. That's very nice. Five fourteen PM. Are we there yet? Dairy Mart. I want to go there. They only sell dairy. Yo, Harp, check that out. The cop car, Dairy Mart, or a pizza place? Moe's Pizza. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. P3 is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I need a whole pizza myself. Me too. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Mike, you are a fucking nerd. You seem like a cool dude, but let's be real here. Oh, thanks. Come on in. Thank you. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? Get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggies. Um, let's go for... Margarita. Let's try Moe's Special. And then, uh, pepperoni. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover it. Just the pizza today. Thanks. Alright, then six hot slices coming right up. That'll be $22.50. Did I pay for his pizza too? Well, he did drive. He has been driving for multiple hours. Number's 27, just grab a seat. We'll call you up when your pizza's ready. What is Moe's special? Pepperoni mushroom. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad. I, if I'd known that, I would've got cheese instead of pepperoni, but it's whatever. Wait, where'd... Oh, yeah, here you go. And we've been in the car for hours, and you're like, you want to sit back down? Long sniff. It smells so good in here. Yeah, yep. Be safe, Nora. Yeah, I just... What do you mean, did I listen? You literally saw me get on my phone, Mike. Like, she'll be late. That's a bummer. That's why I have to start the fun without her. Can we do? Don't act like you know what I'm talking about. Order number 27, you folks are, are right here. Hey, you folks are all set. Thank you. Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. I know, right?
feel like I would get some pizza for the road, too, if a big snowstorm's coming in. We're just assuming. Hey there, friends! Hello. I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I myself was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going in the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you heading? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. What do y'all say? Care to give this free sphere to ride down that snowy road? Well, it's not my truck, so why am I answering? Sure, you can come. Hold on, hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Sure, feel free to jump in. I'm not sure if we have the extra space for another passenger. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. That's my friend's car, I'm sorry. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Sorry, I am now. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired of all. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I would not be willing to ride in the bed of a pickup. Are you serious? How are you going to let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? Ah, he seemed harmless at first. Really never know these days. For all we know, it could have been another Ted Bundy, Harp. I hate the chewing sounds whenever we eat. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? Kind of wasteful not to. Yes, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? No, Deus. So there's five Fears to Fathom games. They all look about the same. That pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. Uh, but they're all like different stories. Uh, uh. What, you didn't? Holy, that was good. But then, are you to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Arp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way, way home? Come on, drive so you can, get, you can get a break. I'm afraid what kind of break you're going to give me, Arp. Be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedroom when or if we get there. Deal. No, there's five games, so they all look, and they all look very similar. But they're all about different things. The last one, I was a park ranger. And this one, I'm a lady consultant going to a cabin. Vaguely, yeah, actually. That's not a bad way to think about it. Evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best... Yeah, a guy thinks I can't drive in the snow. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song. I'm a great snow driver. Here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Peace and Secrets by Ed and Austin. The only time I've been in involved in any sort of automotive accident... It was a perfectly clear night with no issues, no rain, no snow, amazing visibility. Turn that off. I think this is the right way. I actually don't know if it was or not. It wasn't for the first time. We'd hung out a couple of times before that. See, what had happened was, I went to her place to hang out twice beforehand, thought I knew the way without GPS, didn't, somehow wound up going back to my apartment. She only lived like a mile and a half away from me too. 
somehow got turned around, ended up going back to my apartment, was like messing with my, I think I was messing with my, like, my heater or something, and then ended up like rear ending somebody. Don't want to run the stop sign, especially with a cop being there. Oh, that's the cabin. All right. Um. Appreciate the fact that there's no cars behind me. And this should be it. Oh, you're just going to keep driving there. I might have. It was a very cold night. Quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Door is locked. I had to get the key from the lockbox. Okay, hold on. Let me... I'm here. Um, Rick had sent me the lockbox code. Oh, five one seven six. great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? I gotta really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. Well, I'm gone. Can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. I got it. House is cozy and well furnished. Alright, we'll put that there for now. Okay, damn. Go, go on the ground. Best milk, 100%. Hold on, shouldn't the frozen yogurt go in the freezer? No? Okay. Are you okay? No, I'm driving all that. Pizza really did a number on me. All the groceries are put away. Hang on, I really need to pee. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking your bags. Thanks. No alone told me the pizza has really done a number on Mike. Oof, Mike. This weekend ain't going well for you, buddy. <laughs> Escape to text Rick. We've, hi, we've checked in. I just realized when I was at work, I forgot to flush the toilet or wash my hands because the janitor scared me so much. Feeling better after the drive? Much better. Ready to check out the place? Sounds good to me. After you.
Alright, supply closet. Mm hmm, yep. <laughs> Sir! Oh, hey, you're here. You scared us. Oopsie daisy, I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 no. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last you folks left a bad word for it. I forgot, okay? The janitor scared me. You know, they say you treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my home sweet home. Right now? Be a bad owner if I didn't give you a grand tour. Okay, my first question is though, why the fuck were you hiding in this little corner over here? Oh, this was a middle-aged man with nervous energy. Right from the start, he, his presence made us uncomfortable. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get a fix for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Hook Harp, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Look, I'm sorry. I washed them this time. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Mike, you are so close. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. Great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch a cold here again. Jesus, Mike. I know you got a thing for me, but damn. Don't even close the door behind it. Mike, I swear to God. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright, folks, let's head downstairs for now. So there's only two bedrooms and there's three of us, which... I mean, I, I'm the one who, pick, who set up the rental. I picked it out. What the fuck was that, Mike? Why were you like, who? Alrighty, folks. I see I already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. Do the knob, turn the knob up for more, co more cooling and down to cool it off. Tend to keep it low in the winter. Bill gets out of control. Speaking of which, better show you folks the water heater. Why? Do we have to manually do anything with it? It's a water heater. Like, I swear to God. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old store stuff. Whatever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. Pilot light will fire right back up and you'll be back in business. Yeah, it'll take like 12 hours to heat. Well, maybe not that long, but still. Okay. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. Kind of use this basin of storage. Renters don't need to need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. No access to guests. Oh, we're we're gonna check that out. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from and told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not scary folks, but I would... If I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> Looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around a 6 out of 10. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm going to hit the road now. Got to find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, 
What's the name of that booking? Must be getting old. Sydney. Ha! Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Alright. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Alright, well, let's, um... Grab a shower. Cannot close the shower? Ah, there we go. Leave every damn door open, I swear. Hey, Hart, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. I need to catch dinner. Now that you mention it, wouldn't be pretty epic addition to the trip? Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Okay, my guy, you left the door open, though. Also, I don't think either of these people would know how to fish. Do you, wanna, do you wanna grab the other fishing hard rod? Yeah, just give me a second, man. Need bait? Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. Need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? First things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, harp. Please don't make rhymes with my name. Okay, for... Common carp, so we can make cheese delight or sweet corn. All right. I feel like this fishing hook is about to embed itself in my face. Those carp are biting today. Casually fishing while holding a can of cheese dip in my hand. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, we got a Stardew Valley-esque... Fish... Bluegill. Uh, that's not a card. Bluegill. Oh man, all I'm getting are some bluegill. Bluegill are not carp.
common carp. There's one. See, whenever there's one carp, there's always more. I don't think anyone says that. I don't think that's a common saying that anyone says. I think you're making that up. I feel like this is the same bluegill over and over again who's just like, Ooh, a piece of cheese! Oh god, they're fucking in my mouth! Ooh, a piece of cheese! Oh god, they're fucking in my mouth! What? Cozy says that's me as a fish. Which might not be entirely ac inaccurate. Common carp. Woohoo! Just one more carp? You got this. What are- are you here for moral support? Mike? Are you gonna catch a carp? This one's kind of a kind of a pain to catch. Bluegill, you bastard! Stop eating all my ding dong dang cheese! Come on. I've got that tunnel vision for carp. I've got carpal tunnel. All right, harp, looks like we got the three carp. Going to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. Um, Mike, you know you don't just like throw... Where'd your fishing rod go, Mike? You gotta put that away. That's not yours. And you can't just put the carp in the oven directly. You gotta clean them. You gotta descale them. Gut them. You gotta... You gotta clean the fish, Mike. You're gonna give us all food poisoning, and we're all gonna... That's the horror aspect of this game. Improperly cooked fish. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Uh, okay. Let's take a bowl and throw ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Okay. Ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, yogurt. On it. All right. Uh, yogurt. Oh, it gives me a list. All right. Paprika, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, ginger paste, olive oil, ginger paste, olive oil, olive oil. All right. You mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? On it. All right, Mike, I'll give you some credit. I need to add the fish first. Ah, my marinade. You did clean the fish. Now, could you add the veggies? It needs to go in for 30 minutes at 400. There's only two fish. What about Nora? Are we just deciding she's not eating if she shows up? Let's close that. Yeah, let me put this. Those carp are going to taste amazing. Way, way forward to cook. How about you play some board games? Saw some in the room. 
and the room next to the living room. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. I can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. Is this the room next to the living room, or is there another room next to the living room? Oh, there is another room next to the living room. Okay. I don't know why this room wouldn't be on the tour. Tower stack, chess, mega rounds, Ouija, Catopoly, Dragons, Labyrinth, Snakes and Ladders. Ooh, Snakes and Ladders. I love eels and escalators. That's a classic. But how about so go for something with a little bit of mystery? So you want me to pick the Ouija board? That's what you're telling me. Damn it, Mike, why are you saying it's my option when you're like, oh, pick the Ouija board? It's not leaving it up to me. This is the illusion of choice. Oh snap, is that a Ouija board? Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. Can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. Yeah, sure. Alright, let's go. Y'all people deserve to be fucking haunted. You two deserve whatever demonic bullshit happens to you. Watch out for spiders. Why wouldn't we get a couple of the metal chairs? Oh, it'll make this even spookier. Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. <sighs> Alright. You set the board up. Can you even set up the board, Mike? Oh, no. Anyways, do you know? Yeah, I know how it works. This is not my first Ouija experience. Alright. And you go first. Are there any spirits who wish to speak with us? We both have to touch the thing. No way are you moving it. Wasn't me. I thought I moved the Ouija. It wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Be respectful. Um... Are you friendly? It's gonna zoom straight to no. Are you a friendly spirit? No! My turn. Come on, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Holy crap! What the hell, Mike? Wait for me! Usually not one to believe in ghosts or spirits. I'd be lying if I didn't said I didn't feel uneasy that night. Brave man, Mike! There's some freaky shit going on down there, Hart. That was weird. Weird part is that you ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. But nice if you had checked. You ever heard of fight or flight? 
Didn't he? I'm sorry, okay? Alright, whatever. That did not take us half an hour. Are you getting it out? Fucking hands of iron, Mike! Damn! Just raw dog that casserole dish right out of the oven. Think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. Oh, you couldn't even serve me up, huh? I would devour this carp, by the way. Oh, do I have to... Okay, yeah, let me get the remote. Damn, girls gotta do everything around here. Of mayonnaise. This delicacy is very popular. Turns on the TV. Of mayonnaise! Slows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are gonna prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot of... How much would it cost, like, how much would it cost you guys individually? If I had a water park where everything was mayo instead of water, if I had a mayo park, how much money would I have to pay you to get you to spend an afternoon there and go on multiple rides, like, go down the mayo slides, go to the wave, the wave mayo pool? Arp, that was some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. That was really good. Make a great team, Harp. Hey, anyways, you check my emails real quick. I left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. I'll be right back. All right, I'll clean up here. I'm turning that off right now. It would cost. Probably a few thousand dollars for me to willingly go down one water slide where, like, one mayo slide. The wave pool? Probably not happening. I'd be too scared of getting trapped under the mayo and, like, not being able to break through to the surface. How long does it take to check a few damn emails? There's someone under your bed. Can I come? What? Don't make sounds. Walk slow. Gotta be... Yep, I fucking knew it. Gotcha! Lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. Totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Whatever. Come on, it was just a joke. You go for the next round? Next round. What a game of hide and seek. I'll get you back for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. Another perfect place to hide. Yep, in the basement. Couldn't open the door. Decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. Didn't know this was here. I'm gonna mute my mic now so that way I can not be tripped.
Huh? Aha, I got you. That wasn't even a trial. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Alright, my turn to hide now. Close your eyes and start counting. One, two, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Are you not? Here I come. Right, he's not in the basement. Well, I'm not the play. Got you. Wow, that was actually really easy. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kid. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. Can you hear it? No, I did not. I swear in my life, I heard something. See the static access door here? All right. Couldn't reach it without a step stool. Where the? What? Did you close the door on me? Unless Mike is the monster. Okay, let me... I guess there's probably a step stool in the basement. And check it out. Um, you're taller than me. I think uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney. But one of us really should look. Where are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. Stop closing that goddamn door, Mike, or I swear to God I'm going to brain you with the step stool as soon as I find it out oh, right here. Oh, hey, it's a kitty cat. No, kitty cat. Tanir, are you, are you okay? What was up there? Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. Damn, that's cold. I'm not going to say that. That's so rough. Oh, what a relief. Sorry there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh yeah, maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Alright. I feel like that's cheating. Playing hide and seek, and I decided to drive to the gas station three miles away and hide there. Should I text the owner and be like, hey, your cat was in the attic, we heard her. Went up and checked. I feel like that'd be reasonable to do, right?
<laughs> there you are. Damn, Harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close his pretty eyes now. Being tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're heading back anyway. If you find me, we'll go to bed. I'm going to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. All right, first stop, basement. Couldn't open the door. All right. You just remembered you have cookie dough ice cream in your freezer? Uh, hell yeah! Slather that shit on your face and neck like a lotion. I'm sorry. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. I just do. No way he's gonna hide in the same closet twice. It was. It was weird and uncalled for. What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you back here again? Fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So, I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. Heard anything before, must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> Think you maybe fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and we'd like to have it to ourselves. We don't really want to have to call the law enforcement. Mike, please, let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. Think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. You can't handle that. That's your problem, not mine. You know what? You folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to you. Leave, you, leave it to you. Hey, by the way, your cat's in the attic. Don't call me if, if it starts leaking again. I would barricade the damn doors after that. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. Hey, Mike. Harp, you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Are you going to confess your undying love for me? Storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Oh, door is okay. You'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. You guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? Mike, this is not a good time. Don't. What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. What a strange one. You believe that guy just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place? He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. You shouldn't just barge in the place whenever you want. So we rented that we rented the damn house. And the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. 
Me too. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? I don't want to do that. I'm good, bro. I'm... Ah. Harp, you know... <clears throat> I've missed this. Us just talking. It's been too long. You know... You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Like, where is this coming from? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. Remember it being, I uh, remember it really well. Oh yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. You sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, said Nate. Like, I don't think this is a good time. What timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me go to get dressed, and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. Um, are you sure? I don't want to stay here, though. Yeah, I'm sure you're in pajamas, and I'm still dressed. I just settle in, and I'll go help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I was like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. I no, I should go. I should go with you. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Let's get some good rest and stay warm. You really feel like we have to. Yeah, that's Yeah, I don't know what which I'm looking forward to less. The murderer trying to kill me or that conversation. Couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Or even shutting it. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. Sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Where I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back and I kinda need one right now. Alright, give him a hug. Good dreams, get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knows how to cheer me up, and I need it more by the minute. If we're arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Okay. So, I actually think that on that note, someone was at the front door. Um, we're gonna end it there. And instead of playing Obscure tonight, I'm going to finish up this part of Fears to Fathom. Because it's probably got about an hour-ish left, I would say. So tonight might be a short stream. Um, but I wanna I'm gonna finish this one up. So that way we're just we're done with Fears to Fathom. Um, and I'm gonna say I'm going to close out the game. I'm going to say thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. I will be back tonight after I get home from work uh, where we're going to finish up this bit of Fears to Fathom. Um, because I, like I said, we probably got about an hour left or so. That'll be for then. Um, I am going to drop you guys off somewhere. Figure it out.
Let's see, what do we got? Um, I right here. I'll drop you guys off over at uh, Ban This. I haven't raided them in a while. It's been a minute. But they're doing some Ratchet and Clank, and Ratchet and Clank's always a good time. Yeah, I'll take you guys there. Finish this up tonight. Next week is going to be more Silent Hill 2. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing Wednesday or Thursday and Friday. We'll have to see. I'll figure, I'll figure something out. But have a good one, guys. I will catch you later tonight.